Hey guys, Cal here again from uh, KR Sabers. So uh, today this is an install on one of the uh, Corbanth 2.0 Graphlex. So um, for those of you who don't know who Corbanth is, he's uh, one of the members of the forums and a member within the community. And um, uh, he often likes to do uh, quite large runs that are partnered up between himself and uh, Jeff Parks of Park Sabers. Um, they decided to go ahead and do a run of uh, the Graflex Sabers and uh, essentially sell it as like a kit. So um, you would have all the pieces you needed to either make it a uh, version from A New Hope or the version from The Force Awakens or the version from Empire Strikes Back. He gave you sort of um, the options for that. Uh, and it would be, you know, sort of removable thumb screws here and here, removable glass eyes, different cards, different grips. It all comes as part of the kit. Um, he may have some left, so um, you can contact him uh, at his email address. There is, um, I'll put in the description all the information relating to this build so you guys can have a look at it because I do believe he has some left. So um, they're not uh, replica flash guns um, like what Parks used to make. They're actually uh, sort of electronics enabled kits. So they are for the hobbyist installer, DIY, whatever, um, uh, whoever you want to call it really. So for them to put their own electronics in. There is still a few little things that I had to do in order to get it electronics worthy. Just my sort of take on things, which I'll go through uh, now. Um, this build is for Joshua. Um, uh, I do have quite a few different graphics to build. This is the one that I wanted to get done first. Um, Joshua doesn't actually live too far from where I'm based, so um, uh, he came down and dropped some of the, the parts off that he had. So some of the things that I did for this install was um, uh, there's a sort of inner black sleeve that's in here, which is the blade holder. Um, I milled a slot all along it and uh, milled a square hole inside for wire passages for the switch. Also milled a, uh, a switch uh, sort of recess for the switch to sit in, so it was dead center. And that's been uh, secured in there. And um, Josh actually had a um, replica Graflex button uh, because the ones supplied with the kits are red anodized. Uh, if you're familiar with what the Graflex hilts look like, um, they've got this sort of deep red plastic sort of uh, button, which um, uh, Josh had. So I chucked this out on the lathe and uh, made this the, uh, the button instead, which you can hear there. Um, I am doing another one. Uh, for someone else which has an auxiliary switch because this is a Nano Biscotti uh, version 3, one of the new ones. Um, I did place a private order with um, Plicked Labs, uh, so I do have um, uh, Nano Biscotti version 3 a little bit earlier than some other people, but um, they are strictly for builds only, so um, if you do and are wondering why I've got Nano Biscotti V3s already, they're not for individual resale, they're strictly for builds, so um, sorry about that. Uh, but he'll have some in stock soon. I'll put a link to his website as well. Um, I use Plecta Labs for every single build that I make pretty much. Um, they're the best soundboards in my eyes. So activation switch is up here. Um, this uh, glass eye or thumb screw, it's not actually glass because you can see there's no glass in there, uh, is the blade retention screw. Um, I'm going to ask Joshua whether he wants this to be the retention screw or this to be it because then I can lay this down because it'll probably stick out a little bit when uh, you have the blade in there. Um, it's also got uh, the Empire Strikes Back Force Awakens sort of uh, set up. So the card in there, the grips with the, um, uh, the bolts inside and um, also the D-ring, Cobalt D-ring. Um, I had to file the inside of these because they actually protrude inside the hilt. Um, so as I said before, it's got um, a Tri-Rebel blue, blue, white um, uh, in there. 7 8 inch heat sink to hold it. Um, uh, the white's for the flash on clash, the blue's been wired in parallel for the um, for the main blade. Um, it's like a nice cool blue. Uh, it has an 18650 3.7 volt battery, a 2 watt base speaker. Uh, it's got internal recharge port and um, it also has a 3D printed chassis by Goth3Designs. Goth3Designs is a good friend of mine um, based in France. He does some uh, just unbelievable uh, chambers and uh, 3D printed parts. Um, I've used quite a lot of his uh, 3D printed parts which you can get from his Shapeway store which I'll put a link in the description for and um, it's pretty amazing what he came up with for these. Um, so uh, Joshua ordered one of his uh, 3D printed kits and gave it to me and um, I'll give you a quick look at what it's like. So you just undo the, uh, the obviously the clamp and you can start to unscrew the base because unlike a vintage Graflex, this one has a uh, threaded on uh, lower sleeve and uh, you've got the um, chamber in here. So this is uh, all 3D printed. Um, so you can see the detail in there. 
Um, and then I fitted some uh, brass rods, uh, which you can see, and polished up some brass rods and installed a double terminate uh, quartz crystal in there. So um, you also have the kill key and you have SD card access right there, really nice and easy to get to um, because you can unscrew this uh, actual pommel piece. So if I just put that there like that, because um, I had to put a few retention holes, so the chassis will hold um, retention grub screws. You can actually unscrew this to get access to it without having to take the sleeve off. Sleeve off. But when you want to uh, display the chamber, you've got this gorgeous uh, chamber here. So these are obviously for a more advanced install. Um, uh, there's a lot of wiring, which obviously you can't see. Um, it's all hidden, so it's a bit of a cramp. For you. you can see the speaker just sort of in here. Um, it sits in front of it. But um, when you pull the kill key out, uh, you've got the illuminated crystal with a 5mm blue backlit uh, LED. So it's obviously um, very nice to look at and just a nice addition really to a graphlex because everyone wants the sort of crystal chamber look inside there. So I'm pretty happy with how uh, this came out. So this is um, uh, the Goth 3 design one um, for the... 2.0 kits which you'll uh, see on his Shapeway store and you just recharge it in there and then when you're done with it you can just obviously pop the kill key, oops, pop, pop the kill key back in it's one of those turn kill keys so because the Nano Biscotti has deep sleep mode you can actually just turn it like this and you see the kill key still in there but obviously it's on and then you've got your activation hear the speaker there flash on flash And uh, obviously it's a lot louder when you have the sleeve on. So if I just put the sleeve back on. And then just line up the grips of the clamp like that. Good enough, close the clamp, obviously. So I've got Bespin and uh, Graflex 5 by uh, Juan Sith, I think it is. Juan Sith from Saberfont.com. Uh, I'll put a link to Saberfont.com as well so that if you do have um, soundboards like Plectolab soundboards, if you didn't realize already that they've got SD cards so that you can change the fonts on there. So there's a whole archive of fonts on that website. So just the look of it. And you've got the obviously the movements like. The great thing about the new version 3 by Plekta Labs is it's got improved sensitivity and power saving mode. So um, if you look at the sensitivity now, this is just with the default setting. So really, really responsive. So um, if you're wondering why they're a little bit more expensive than the V2, then you, you'll clearly see why. Um, so what I'll do is now, this one has a 7 8, seven eight inch blade. Um, uh, that's how sort of uh, Corbanth and Jeff Parks like to do their blade holders. But very rarely that they're an inch. They're usually seven eighths or three quarter inch. But um, uh, Vader's Vault are working on a uh, one inch adapter. Um, I mentioned the black sleeve earlier, which is in here. Um, but Vader's Vault are designing one that has a uh, one inch blade holder. So uh, if you wait a little bit, um, they'll have those on their store soon. So you can just search Vader's Vault on Google. Uh, and um, uh, when the I think I'll probably edit the video when their link comes out and I'll put the link in the description where you can get the blade holder because it's not out yet, so I uh, have to wait for that. So what I'll do is I'll pop a blade in now and I'll show you what it's like with the Trans White 7 8 in blade. Okay, so I uh, just got the blade demo set up here. Um, so glass eye thumb screw, you just unscrew it and then pop your blade in like that. It'll sit down. You just seat it properly like this, and then pop it down like that. Just make sure that's in the frame. Yep. And uh, when you want to activate it, so you can see it's a really nice, uh, nice blue. And then you've got the flash on clash. So it's a really nice that that blue. So I just bring it in a little closer here. So nice and bright, 
looks great on the camera and uh, for any sort of cosplaying or anything just change the sound font now so I believe this is the uh, best bin sound font by Mad Cow so fonts taken directly from the film so that nice hum power down and change sound font again it's two sound fonts but I've just shown you the boot sounds and there you have it nice blue there and uh, overall looks great I mean there's broad daylight now in my room so you can see how nice and bright it is and what it would be like in the dark So yeah, and then when you want to remove the blade, just undo the thumb screw, and that's it, all done. And that is the blade demo. So yeah guys, that is the uh, Graflex 2.0 kit by Corvent there. Um, I know there were a lot of them sold and that people are looking for installs. I am uh, fully booked at the moment for doing these installs. But, um, you know, if you need a few tips on how to do it, just don't hesitate to send me a message. Um, there's a website and Facebook you can contact me through and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to help. So thanks very much for watching. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel to have a look at more videos, just go ahead. Um, if you like it, give it a like. If you don't, give it a dislike. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.